Hi everybody and welcome back. If this is your first time with us, I'm Jolene and this is IDI Lofts Art Class. So, today we're going to make a birdhouse out of popsicle sticks. What you're going to need is you're going to need popsicle sticks. And I have a bag here. The bag has got like 150 in them and we're going to use just about all of them on one birdhouse. And you're going to use some paints so you can pick whatever color paints you got or whatever your mom got for you. You're going to need a paintbrush. You can use a foam brush or a regular paintbrush. You're going to um, need some white glue. I am going to also use a small paintbrush that I'm going to actually put my glue onto my popsicle sticks with and just make it a little bit easier. So if you have a small one, even if it's something from an old um, watercolor kit or something, it might make it a little bit easier for you. And then you're going to see that I have put paper down on my table so that I don't get paint and glue everywhere. And I've laid some of my popsicle sticks out that I'm going to actually paint. So my first color I'm going to paint is going to be the um, raspberry color. This one's been out here for a bit, so it's got a little bit of dry on there. I'm also going to, I'm going to put it on my, put some paint on my plate here. So you can see I just put a dab of paint on there. And I am going to use my foam brush. And I'm just going to paint my sticks. I'm going to paint all the sides because that way, um, if you see any of them, they'll be all painted and not plain wood. And you're going to get a little bit of paint on your hands, but um, it's acrylic, so it washes right off with soap. So we're just going to paint all of our all of our popsicle sticks. So how's everyone's schoolwork going? Has everyone gotten all their homework that the school sent home to you? Have you gotten that all done? Did you have trouble with any of it? If you do, make sure you ask a, a, a big person, ask an adult, and they probably can help you out. But you have to get it done. And the same as when we did our other craft, um, the one big thing that you're going to have to make sure that you promise is when you're done, when we're all done our birdhouses, that you clean up everything. You clean up your whole mess and not have somebody else have to do it for you. And when you do that, you have a bigger chance of being able to come back and visit us and do another project. We've got some really cool projects um, lined up for you guys. Um, so far, we have made tissue art, pencil, and pen holders, which were really fun, um, if you haven't joined us yet, and today we're making birdhouses, of course, uh, we've got some other really cool, fun things kind of set up and ready to go, um, we're going to do some um, tie-dye shirts with a shark bee, um, it's really fun, it's, it's easy, it's fun, and it's not too messy, um, and what else we got planned? We've got some duct duct tape artwork that we're gonna make. We're gonna make a bag, a tote bag with duct tape. Really cool. Uh, let's see what else have we thought of. Um, I think we might do some kind of eggs. Um, they're really cool. I've made them before, and they're really fun. Um, they're kind of I made them for dinosaur eggs, but with Easter coming, I'm thinking maybe we can make some Easter eggs. Um, but not with real eggs. We'll make our own. They're really cool. So we've got lots of things planned for you guys so that um, hopefully it lets you get your creative mind going and it gives whoever is watching you a little break from having to be a teacher since schools are closed. And that is kind of the purpose of our whole art class is to kind of give you guys a little creative outlet and to give whoever is watching you a little bit of a break. So um, most of these projects that we're doing um, can be done with little to no supervision depending on your age. Now, if you're a, a real small one, 
then a real small person, then you might need a little bit of help. But usually if you're, I would say about seven to eight years old and up, you can pretty much do these things yourself and um, let them have a little bit of a break. Okay. And how many of you guys sent me a, a message with a picture of your tissue art so that we can make our tissue art collage? I hope all everybody who made them sent them to me so we can make a really cool collage. You know, it would be really awesome is if I got so many of them, like they all wouldn't fit on one page and we would have to like make a big, huge poster. How awesome would that be? <laughs> So how are you guys doing on your painting? Going pretty easy for you? And it doesn't have to be perfect. They're going to be glued together. And I think what I'm going to end up doing is we're going to end up painting some of each color. And then... If, as we need more of a certain color, then we can paint them as we go. That way we don't have too many, color, too many sticks of one color that are already painted. And like this one here. So I guess, you know, they're in a bag, and so you get them how they are. It came broken, but that's okay, because when we glue it, we'll just glue that part to the inside. So you're really not going to see it anyway. can't wait to see what colors you guys pick in the designs I'm just gonna make one design but you can use your creative mind and if you have a different design than what I'm going to show you in mind by all means I would love to see how creative you are with your birdhouses so you can follow along with the design that I'm doing or you can come up with your own design too that's pretty that would be pretty awesome When you get done your birdhouses, they'll look kind of cool out. Maybe um, if you have a porch, um, they look really neat on the railing of the porch. And hopefully, hopefully we'll get a bird coming into them. That would be really neat. But if not, they're still they're still really cool just to have sitting as a decoration. But um, maybe we'll get lucky and get some birds.
Okay, so how is your pile of painted sticks coming? Are you still on the first color? I am finishing up with this um, raspberry color that I'm using. And I'll show you my pile in just a moment. And then I'm going to wash my um, brush off and I'm going to change colors and do some of the other ones as well. So let me finish this one and I will show you my stack. I'm not sure it's going to be enough, but we'll see. So there's my stack so far. So I'm going to go wash my brush and I'll be right back. All right, so if you need to wash your brush, um, you can just use warm water. Make sure it's not too hot so you don't get burnt. And then um, you can just rinse it under there and it'll rinse right out. Um, so it's really easy. I'm gonna shake this up and I'm gonna go with this mint green next. And I think it's been here for a bit, so the top of it's kind of... hardened up a little bit, I think. Let's try this. All right, it's not coming, so I'm just going to take the top off, I guess, and pour some onto my plate. And I'm going to kind of slide these off to the side a little bit, um, and then I'm going to start in on some mint green ones. Oh, I'm loving these colors together. Are you liking the colors you picked? So that was one of the other projects we were going to do. We're going to do um, kindness rocks as well. We talked about that on our first video. So we're going to do some kindness rocks as well one of these days. We can all use some kindness and we can all be kind to others. Not making too much of a mess are you with your paints? Hopefully not. But that's why we wanted to have a paper underneath it as well. So that if it does get messy, you're not getting the table and the counter. and Wherever you're working, you're not getting it all dirty. And see, They are latex paints. So, I mean, sorry, acrylic. So they will wash off with um, some warm soap and water. They will wash off. But um, we don't want to take any chances. So make sure you do that over the paper.
I'm getting major green fingers, aren't I? <laughs> what are your hands looking like? <laughs> Do you know, I think I'm going to leave some of mine also unpainted, so you might want to think about that, but I think I'm going to leave some of them unpainted, so when I alternate them, we'll have some of the natural color in with um, the painted color. I think it'll look kind of, kind of pretty. We'll see. That's the one thing when you're, when you're doing crafts and art and you, you think of things as you're doing them. So as long as you have a, a basic idea when you're starting, that's all you really need because as you go along, you think of other things and other ways you could do it or, you know, additional ideas. So um, the, the key is to have just a basic idea. And then once you start, once you start it, then your mind starts working. And that's the fun thing about art. It's very creative. It's very inspirational. And it kind of gives you a little outlet when you're bored or you just need to have some maybe downtime. Art's a really good thing for that. It's really good for your for your um, inner soul and your happiness and, and creativity. It's awesome. And who knows? Maybe one day you'll grow up and be like, some major major artist how amazing would that be that'd be pretty cool right but i think you're an amazing artist already i think all you guys are doing amazing jobs all right so there i have a pile of green so i'm going to go wash my brush again and then i'm going to do this other color um you keep painting what you need to paint and um i'll be right back Okay, so now I'm going to start, and this one is fairly close, but it's a little different. This is kind of bluish color, so it's kind of a light blue. Um, Now, if you're all done painting or you're not going to paint um, anymore, then um, maybe 
um, get a snack or something so that once we all get finished painting, then we can start the next step together. So if, you've, if you're if you done, then just um, bear with the rest of us for a little bit so that we can finish painting our sticks and then we'll move on to the next step all together, okay? Oh goodness, I'm good. <laughs> if you do get some paint on your clothes, it will come out, but I would suggest that you go like wash it off fairly quickly um, with some soap and water, um, just so it doesn't stain your clothes. It normally comes out, but I'm not gonna wanna guarantee some. So, <clears throat> excuse me, if you do get some on you, um, Go get it washed off as quickly as possible and then come on back and start painting again. Okay, so I've got my sticks painted and then I've got a pile of a few that are unpainted that I'm going to use as well. So this is what my what my piles look like. All right, so now we're going to get started on construction. So everyone put your hard hats on, get all ready to get the drills. No, I'm playing. There's no hard hats and drills required. <laughs> All right. So I am going to put a good size double of glue on my plate and the first thing we're going to do is make our frame. Now you do need a decent amount of glue, but you don't need so much glue that it's like crazy falling off the sides of your popsicle sticks. Okay. So that is another reason why I'm going to be using this kind of brush. Um, it'll help kind of there. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to, and we're going to make it four square. So you're going to put some glue on here, 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 and here. And then you're going to take your sticks and you're going to put it just right there on that corner and on that corner on that corner there and then you're going to make sure that it's square okay just like that okay so now we're going to do our next layer so you're going to take your glue again and you're going to put it on all four corners And since this side here went this way, now we're going to go back across this way, okay? And then on the bottom, the same thing. So we're going to go crisscross. Well, not crisscross, but back on the other way. And our next layer is going to go down on these sides. And we're going to put glue again. Now I'm going to start my color. So I've got glue again on each corner, and I'm going to put these across like this. Let's 
So we have a square. another one and we're going to put glue on each corner again and this time I think I'm going to actually I'm going to use the same color again you can use whatever colors and however it works for you on whatever you want for a design You want to make sure that your edges, that your popsicle sticks are staying nice and even. You can take your fingers and do this and even them out because your glue's not quite dry yet. So you can still make them pretty even, okay? And then we're going to glue again. So we're going to glue all the corners one another, one another time. Now I'm going to change colors and I am going to go with a strip of pink. Now you can see this one right here is broken. You see how the the um, popsicle stick is it got it's not right here, but that's okay. Just put that on the inside of the um, facing the inside of the house. So the only one that's going to see it's the bird, and the bird won't care that it's got a little flaw to the stick. The bird will be cool with it, I'm sure. Now we're gonna put glue on each corner again. And we're gonna use the same color. Well, I'm using the same color. You can use whatever you want. And I'm gonna make mine so that I've got a square of pink. Make sure it's nice and squared up. And then you're gonna put glue on your corners again. And then do another row. And guess what the next step is? Yep, we're going to put some more glue again. So I was just evening up my sides. And I think we're going to go up like nine, um, maybe nine holes, nine, nine strip, nine square layers, and then we'll start our door. So how many layers do we have right now? We've got one, two, three, four, five. So we'll do four more layers. So once again, we're going to put some more glue on the corners. So if you're ahead of me, only go up to nine layers and then hit pause and wait for me to catch up with you.
We're just going to keep this whole process going until we get nine layers high. And then we'll start our doorway for the bird to come in. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Oops, I got some on there, but that's okay because when Elmer's when Elmer glue dries, it dries clear. So if you get some on your wood where you don't really want it, you're not gonna see it because it dries clear anyway. Okay. Pretty sure this is my ninth layer now if you miscounted and you have 10 layers guess what it's okay because you may have already decided you wanted to build a totally different kind of style which is awesome so you're not really matching what I'm saying and that is that's good too because honestly the best thing is to be creative and let your mind do it there so we've got let's count them we've got one two three four five six seven eight nine and one two three four five six seven eight so I've got nine on this side and eight on this side so I'm going to put one more layer over here on this side And that's going to give me nine on all four sides. Okay, so you can see we have nine layers. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. And if I move it over here, I've got nine on this side too. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. So we've got nine on all four. So now we're going to start the door. If you have not gotten to this point yet, just hit pause. When you get to this point, then hit play again, and we'll be right here waiting for you. All right, so we're getting ready to make the door. And so you're gonna need a pair of scissors, and you're gonna take your popsicle stick, and you're gonna cut it with the scissors. And if you're really young or you're not real strong, you may need an adult to help you with this part here, okay? So you're gonna cut it so that it is about an inch and three quarters long, okay? So you wanna do it to be about an inch and three quarters and you're gonna want 18 of these. So depend, figure out what colors you're gonna want alternately, okay? So you're gonna want 18 pieces of these and if you take it and you just cut the ends, cut the end off, the, because you, what you want is you wanna keep this um, rounded part you want to keep that so that is on the outside. Your cut edge is on the inside where the bird goes. So. You can use one as your sample. They cut pretty easy once you start. But you can put the one that you cut, put it up against another popsicle stick and then just cut right along it like that. And there you go. Now, you will have a mess on the floor maybe from these pieces of popsicle that are flying off when you're cutting them, so make sure when you clean up, you sweep up as well, okay? Because we do not want anyone finding pieces of popsicles on the floor. That would not be good.
need so I might, I'm just putting this one right on top it'll be easier for you to see because I got two different colors here so put that one right on top and then just cut right there and there you go easy right Right, now I'm going to cut a few that are regular, unpainted. Okay, and I'm going to get started. So, my first one, then we're going to go right back to where we were, and we're going to put glue on the back two. Figure out which side you want your door on, okay? I'm doing it on this side here. So, we're going to put glue on all four corners. Again. Decide what color you're going to use or how you, what, you know, where you're going to put that. I'm going to take my first ones. I'm going to go back with this pink color. I'm going to put that along the back like that. And then I'm going to take two of my pink short ones, okay? Now, the, you've got one end that's rounded and one end that's flat. The rounded edge you want on the outside. See if I can do this. So you're going to put that one on the outside like that. And the same thing with this one. Now, you see how they're kind of sloping down and, and you kind of want them to stand up straight because when they dry, you don't want them to do that. So what you can do is some of these pieces that flew off the floor, just put it across like this. Okay, right there. And then put your feet, then put your one back on there. That will hold it up just like it was a piece and it'll be nice and even when it dries. Then we'll just pull those out after, okay? All right. Now we're going to put glue on all four corners again. We're going to do it again. Put all four corners. We're going to do glue again. And now I'm going to take two of my pieces that just, the two pieces that blew off and flew across the room. That you gotta sweep up anyway. We'll just take those, put them right there. Oops. Yeah. And then we're gonna take our one piece. We're gonna put the um, the rounded edge to the outside. Okay. Just like that. 
And then what are we gonna do next? We're gonna put glue on every four corners again. Once again, we're going to do glue. And I am going to do this color. Oops, we need two more pieces that went flying across the room. There's that, and some more glue. Oops, you know what we forgot? We forgot the piece in the back. Here we go. All right, so there we have that going on. How's everyone's houses coming? Mine is coming along pretty nicely. I'm extremely happy with mine. And I hope you are too. How many layers do you have? We've got to make the door big enough for the bird to get through. So I'm not really sure how many layers we need to do. But right now, I have one. How many do I have? One, two, three, four, five. And it's not quite high enough yet, I don't think. I want to leave it big enough for the birdie to get through. So I'm going to go up a few more. I really hope a bird comes in, comes in and makes a home in here. That would be so cool. I don't have enough of this color of the plane yet. I ran out, so I'm going to cut some more. Spacers in. Uh oh. There we go.
And as you're going up, just kind of make sure that everything's still kind of straight. So you can, it's not quite dried yet. So you should be able to push them together. Kind of take your fingers and kind of push them so that they're nice and even. It may not be perfect, but that's okay. The bird won't mind. He'll just be thankful and blessed he has a little house to go into, right? If I need to go I have some right here. My front pieces are getting a little bit off, so I'm just pulling them together. They should be pretty good. Wrong color. I'll do one more of these. There we go. And I gotta cut some more.
All right, once I get this one on, I'm gonna, the bottom pieces are gonna, are probably starting to kind of harden. The glue is starting to dry. So we want to make sure that we're pretty straight down at the bottom, okay? And all around. Your top ones that you've recently done, those are probably still movable, but your bottom ones are getting pretty, pretty solid now. So we want to make sure that we're as straight as possible. You just want to do it a little gently just so you don't crush it. But there we go. Now we can keep going a little bit higher. I think we're getting pretty close. What do you guys think? You think we're getting pretty close to having the um, door tall enough for the birds to get in? I should say bird. I'm not sure this is, house is going to be big enough for more than one. But it certainly will be a nice little hideaway for at least one bird. Oops, what did I do? I guess that's big enough. All right, so uh, I think that's probably big enough for the bird hole. So what do you guys think? Think that's going to be big enough for the bird to get into? I do. Let's count and see how many layers we have. We've got 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18. So I've got 18 layers, and then I started my... Um, to go across the top okay this is the inside view of your house does yours look pretty much like that so there's the front view of your house okay so we've got our birdhouse we've got our sides and we have our our window here um, we're going to leave the spacers in there just so that everything can dry real good before we pull them out and we're just going to keep building up until maybe about here and then we'll start on the roof okay so let's keep on building on up and we'll get there shortly Once we get once we get everything built up to the height that we want it before we start the roof, then our spacers should be pretty dry. We should be able to take them out.
I'm going to put a little more glue on my plate. And after I get these last two on here, we're going to count and see how many rows we have. All right, so we've got 25 rows right now. So that's going to be high enough, and then now we're going to start doing the roof. If you go too high and you only have one package of popsicle sticks, you won't have enough to get finished up. All right, so now we're going to pull the spacers out. This is exciting, right? So we're just going to pull all these little pieces out. Um, just slide them on out. All right, there we have it. So we have the whole, then we have the birdhouse door, and we've got all our sides. Now we're gonna do the roof. All right, so now we're gonna do the roof, and all we're gonna do is we're figuring out how many pieces of popsicle sticks we need to cover to go this way on our roof. So we're gonna make our slant go this way. So we've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven 10, 11 popsicle sticks. So that means we need 22 total because you need 11 for this side and 11 for that side. Now that doesn't mean I'm going to use these colors in this order. I just wanted to see how many we needed to make our roof. Okay, so I have my two sets of 11. All right, that's how I'm going to do mine. And then we're going to take two sticks and we're going to put them on here and here. Okay, and then we're going to glue that. That's going to keep all the sticks together. So we're going to make sure they're nice and straight. And then we're going to do a bead of glue along here and a bead of glue along this edge. And then put those two popsicle sticks over the beads of glue. All right. Okay, you already have one over here on the base that we started with when we made our frame. So you're going to put that one right next to it. And we didn't need to do the edges. So that we'll just wipe that glue off. And you're going to just put them all along the edge right along with it. Okay. This is so the bird doesn't fall out the bottom of your house. That would be tragic. All right, so there you go. Now you're going to let that dry. We're going to wipe this off because we really didn't need it on there. All right, so we're going to wipe this glue off that we have on the edge here. So I'm just going to take a paper towel, and we'll just wipe it off like that. Yeah. Same thing on this end. See, so when you mess up when you're making your craft, it's okay because it's usually always, always fixable. So we're going to let the floor dry while we let the roof dry. And as that's drying, we can kind of clean up a little bit of our stuff. So 
Um, we're all done with the paints, unless you want to paint some more a little bit later, but you can kind of close those up. Um, you want to keep all your little pieces, though, because we still have to make the two, the front ends, and so we need to keep all our little pieces. So um, let these dry, and then we'll be back together in just a few. Okay, so the bottom of your birdhouse should be all nice and dry now, so you can flip it over. So now you have a, a door and your four sides, and your roof should be. Now you can decide, do you want your roof to go sideways or do you want your roof to go up and down? I'm going to do sideways. So what you're going to do is you're going to put a, some glue right here on each corner. See where these are going to meet? Right there. You're going to put glue there and on the other side. And then you're also going to put glue up here on these ends. So on each one of these four corners, and you're going to want to put it towards the bottom part, like where the where this goes rounded that's where you want to put your glue right there right there right there and right there and i would put a pretty good glob because you're going to want it to stick real well it's going to dry clear so you can't put you i'd rather put a little bit too much than not enough And you want to put it on both on um, both sides of the roof before you start putting it on. So we're going to put some there. We're going to put it on here and on the corners, okay? And then do your other side. And then this side. All right, so we're going to take it. Make sure you have them going the same way. You don't want one this way and one that way. Put them both the same way, whichever way it is. Sit it on where your glue's at. Oop, and tip them into each other so they can stay. And there's your birdhouse. How cool is that, right? I'm going to do something a little fun. And I'm going to take one of my plain ones. And I'm going to see how long it maybe make it about like that way across i'm gonna write tweety on the front for, so they know it's for bird they know it's the birds okay actually i think i'm gonna write lily there's a little story about lily about three years ago where we lived there was a little bird that um, fell out of its nest and the mom left it on the ground and so we rescued him and we raised her um, we call her a her, but I'm not really sure if it was a he or a she, but we raised her and we named her Lily Bird. And so we had her and we made her a little nice little, um, she had her own little fortress. She had a huge branch with leaves and, and she hopped around. She would jump on my head. She would get on my shoulder. Um, she would hop and follow me all around. It was really, really cool. Um, but then when she got ready to fly, we brought her up to the tree and it took us about three or four days um, of her sitting on the branch and falling and sitting on the branch and falling and finally she figured out how to fly and she flew away. But she came back and she stayed with us for I would say probably about three months and then we had a hurricane come and so she um, left before the hurricane hit because birds have an instinct of what's happening and she didn't return so it's kind of sad but it was really really cool to um to be able to do that um so anyway i think i'm going to call this house lily bird and the one i just cut i cut it diagonal and it splintered so i'm just going to cut it straight and hopefully this one splintered too so I have a piece it's about this long, so I'm just going to use that and I'm going to put it up towards the top, like right up in here. And I'm going to get a, uh, just going to use a Sharpie marker and put Lily Bird. But before that, I'm going to paint it, but I'm going to paint it a completely different color than this. Um, I think I'm going to paint it yellow and um, then once it dries, then I'll write on Lily Bird. So what are you going to name your house? Okay, so I'm just going to paint this yellow. 
And I think I picked yellow because it's kind of bright and cheery. And that's what I think of when I think of Lilybird. She brought a lot of laughter and, and joy into our, our life. So I am going to do something bright and cheery. Okay, so I just painted that. It's just yellow. I'm going to let it dry. Then I'm going to take a fine black Sharpie and just write Lily Bird on it. Okay, so now we have our roof on. I'm also going to put a piece that goes straight across the top here um, just to cover up the big gap up there. There's already a little bit of glue up there. I'm just going to put a couple more dobbles up there so that it can have something good to stick to. And there's the top. Now, I have a lot of extra little pieces, and you probably do too. So, I think what I'm going to do on the back side of my house is I'm going to cut pieces, and I'm not going to cover the entire thing. The only on the back, not the front, but I'm going to put these across so it kind of makes a, a lattice to back. Okay, so there's a view of our top side that we put our piece on. So there is the back side and all the way around. Does your house look pretty much like that? I am so anxious to see it. Okay, so now I'm going to take my little yellow piece and I'm going to go ahead and write Lily Bird on it. And I'm using a Sharpie marker, but it's a real fine tip one. So if you think if you use one that's too fat, it's going to kind of um, bleed kind of and it's going to be hard to read it. Okay, so I just wrote, I, I wrote in Lily Bird, and I'm just going to glue it onto the front here. But I'm going to hold off hold, gluing it until we can tip it and it's going to stay on there, okay? Okay, so everything is all dried. So we're going to, our bottom is on, we've got all of our top, our sides. Now, okay, so if you're continuing to join me to put a little bit on the back and maybe put a sign on the front, Let's finish this up. Um, if you have finished your birdhouse and you're going to leave it just like this, it looks amazing and I can't wait to see it. Make sure you send me a picture with your name, city, and state. We'll see how far around the world this art class went. All right, but if you're going to continue with me, let's get moving. So I'm going to put a, I'm going to put some glue on right here and here on a on my longest stick. My longest stick is going to be the length of the back of the house, and I'll show you in just a second. And I'm just going to put some glue down there as well, just so it can make sure and stick real good. Okay, so I put some glue on the back, and I'm just going to put this long piece across the back, just like that. Okay, now I'm going to take my next longest piece. I've got glue on both ends, and I'm going to do the same thing. And I'm going to go to where it's kind of meets both sides, just like that. And make sure it's straight. And then I'm going to add a little bit more glue here on the sides. Where it's going to hit. Okay, so I have glue on both ends. And then I've got glue on right here and right here. We're just going to put it on there. Okay, just like that. Then we're going to go to our next piece, which is going to be there. Now, this piece has got a little bit of a jagged end, so I'm just going to kind of cut it a little bit straighter.
We're going to do the same thing. We're going to put some glue on here and some glue on that end, just like that. And then we're going to figure out where it goes there and we're going to put some glue on here. Okay. And then we're going to just put her on there. Like that. Well, we got to make it straight, right? And then we're going to take our next piece and do the same thing. And I've got one more piece that I'm going to put at the very top. Now, and there's the back of our house. And there's the front of our house. Okay. Pretty neat. It's pretty neat. Now I'm going to put Lily Bird on the front. So I'll put Lily Bird on the front. Figure out where it's going to go. It's right there. Whoops, my back piece fell down. That's why once, once we get... Well, I think we're probably going to need to do this and let it dry better before I put Lily Bird on. And I've lost my popsicle stick inside, but it's recoverable. We got it. We got it. Okay, so just like that, we're going to leave it tipped up. So the front of the house is down on the table. We're going to leave that. We're going to let that dry. Then we're going to put Lily Bird on the front, and then we're going to be all done. So I'll be back in just a little bit once this dries. We'll get Lily Bird sign up, and we're finished, okay? So we'll be right back. All right, so our birdhouse is completely done. We've got back slats. We've got Lily Bird on the front. We're all done. You guys did amazing, and I can't wait to see it. So remember, send me that picture. We'll see how far today's art class went, all right? So until next time, make sure you get your homework done. Enjoy, and I'll see you later. Bye-bye.